Yo, what's good 90 goals family? Your man is hyped today because we gotta talk about the straight up craziness of our homeboy Andre Onana's at Manchester United lately. This was supposed to be United's massive money transfer to solidify their goalie sitch for the next decade. We're talking a deal worth over 45 million pounds fam. Crazy bread. United were desperate for a top-notch keeper and Onana seemed like the solution after some nice seasons at Ajax and Inter Milan. But let me tell y'all, from what I've seen between the sticks so far this season, Onana has been looking hella sus. This dude has been making some straight up ludicrous errors that have me smacking my head in disbelief. I'm talking obvious mistakes that make you question if he's ever played goalie before in his life. Mistakes that you 10 keepers would get benched for. And how about when he couldn't make the most basic save from that Laurie Sane shot against Bayern Munich, bruh. Okay. Sabe with a chance to shoot, oh, When you're brought in a mega money transfer, you cannot be making those kind of mindless giveaways. That's amateur hour type stuff. His stats have been looking brutal too. Dude's save percentage is down bad, he's letting in mad goals, and his distribution has been straight trash. It's got me wondering, what happened to the Andre Onana, who was set to be the next elite, world-class goalkeeper? Dude went from being one of the most hyped young keepers in the game, to putting up mediocre, head-scratching performances week after week. So today, grab some snacks and let's dive deep into this wild situation to try and unpack what is going on with Onana. Can he turn things around? Round, or did United get fleeced with the big money transfer? Light, let's get into this crazy story. First things first, we gotta discuss some of the straight up horrendous mistakes Sonana has made leading directly to goals. And don't get me wrong, everyone has a bad touch or miss hit from time to time. But I'm talking about completely inexcusable head scratching blunders that you just cannot have from a high priced goalkeeper. First made same error twice in a single game and ultimately cost United the Champions League. His guy brought in to stabilize United's keeper situation. These kind of inexcusable giveaways are a huge red flag. But here's the wildest part. Those massive blunders aren't even rare occurrences. If we peep the stats, they back up how much Onana's performance levels have dropped off. Back in 18 to 19, his save percentage was a solid 77%, and he only conceded 31 goals in 43 games. Now, that save percentage has plummeted to 66%, and he's already given up 35 goals in just 30 games this season. His distribution numbers are equally as ugly, only completing 58% of his passes and assists. And his saves per goal conceded is down almost a full point. Across the board, the stats paint a nasty picture about how Onana's fundamental goalkeeping game has declined big time. This ain't the same keeper who was dominating for Ajax just a couple seasons ago. And it's not just the numbers either. One of Onana's biggest strengths during his rise to fame was his confidence and command inside the penalty area. He would assertively come flying off his line to claim crosses and corner kicks before opposition players even had a chance to react. He owned that box with the swagger of a young Neuer in his prime. But nowadays, that aggression and dominance is missing. Instead, Onana seems hesitant and indecisive any time the ball enters the box. He's routinely getting beat in the air and losing 50 by 50 challenges that he would have gobbled up easily just a season or two ago. Instead of coming out with timely confidence, he's staying glued to the goal line, reacting late, and constantly getting cart in no man's land. This dude went from performing like an unshakable pillar in goal, to looking like a nervous rookie who's lost all his mojo. Like what happened to the on-field persona of being a fearless, self-assured keeper who could bail United out when they need it most? Dude is beyond shaky right now. And it's not just technical flaws either, something seems off mentally with Onena. With a huge price tag United paid, maybe the expectations and scrutiny is getting to him. Goalkeeping is such a mental position. If your confidence takes a hit after a few mistakes, it can spiral big time. Once the floodgates open, 
It's tough to stop the avalanche. Could distractions off the field be contributing too? And y'all already know the British press stays coming at these players personally when they struggling. They've been ruthless with their coverage on Onana, questioning if he was really worth all that transfer dough United paid. I'm talking articles dissecting his every touch, analysts saying he's not ready, fans calling for his head online. For a young dude who's still only 25, that kind of non-stop negative attention takes a mental toll fam. That kind of divisiveness only adds more pressure and distractions that seep into Onana's on-field performance. You can see he's looking dejected in post-match interviews lately, overthinking everything instead of just playing free. With all the scrutiny, tension with star teammates, and obsession with his price tag, they're setting unrealistic expectations for my guy Onana. He's still young and adjusting to a new league. If United keep focusing on transfer fees and rumors instead of supporting him, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. At the end of the day, the constant negativity and distractions are only gonna make it harder for Onana to regain his best form in net. United needs to shield him from the outside noise, rally around dude as a team, and let him rebuild his confidence. There's no doubt the talent is there, he just needs the right system and environment to thrive in. But all this scrutiny at his age is mad unnecessary. Ease up and let the man cook. Light, rant over, let's get back to the action. So what can Onana do to turn this around? Here are 5 key areas he needs to improve on stat. 1. Cut out the completely boneheaded errors, stay focused for 90 plus minutes, and don't beat yourself. 2. Pick his moments coming off his line smarter, don't just wildly fly out recklessly. 3. Restore his confidence to command the penalty area, own that box again. 4. Quicker decision-making distribution, identify passes earlier, keep it simple. 5. Maintain a positive mentality. Don't sulk or dwell after mistakes. Look, it's not too late for him to regain his elite form. He clearly has the natural shot-stopping ability. But if these flaws continue, United have gotta think about giving DG another shot between the sticks. And they've got promising young keepers like Gavin Bazunu out on loan who could also get a look. The bottom line is that Onana's time to solidify the number one spot is running out. If he doesn't sort himself soon in 2023, I think United start looking for other long-term options in goal. The pressure cooker is heating up. Night every win, that's my deep dive on Andre Onana's straight-up disastrous start so far at Manchester United. No doubt the boy has elite potential, but he gotta fix up ASAP if he's gonna live up to the hype and justify that huge transfer fee. Let me know what you think. Does Onana turn it around this season or not? Oh and before you head out, be sure to peep the video I just dropped breaking down why Ronaldo is finished called the character assassination of Ronaldo for the real truth. Who is at fault, Ronaldo, the club or the coaches? I am sure you won't want to miss out on that episode item ahead out, deuces.